Hi, I'm Mary Kay with Gilson Technical Support. Gilson's Marshall Stability Load Frames are designed for versatility, with many options for you to choose from for measuring, displaying, and recording the load and flow of asphalt specimens. These rugged load frames have a vertical clearance of 19.5 inches and a horizontal clearance of 11.9 inches. To accept a variety of fixtures from Marshall, indirect tensile, semicircular bend, and asphalt tack bond shear strength testing. Let's demonstrate the setup for each of these configurations using the Gilson Marshall Stability Digital Component Set, which includes a 10,000 pound force load cell, a two inch LVDT, and a two channel data readout. The Gilson four inch Marshall braking head aid in the measuring the load and the flow rate of hot mix asphalt specimens. With the indicator bracket already attached to the upper portion of the load cell, attach the load cell to the crosshead. The braking head fixture with asphalt specimen is centered on the platen of the load frame. Now, adjust the height of the crosshead to the center point of the fixture. Next, attach the LVDT to the indicator bracket and then seat the LVDT on the vertical guide rod of the Marshall braking head fixture. The load cell and LVDT are then connected to the data readout to display the load and displacement during a test. Tear both the load cell and the LVDT. Now you are ready to begin the test. This procedure can be replicated for determining the indirect tensile strength values of asphalt mixes by substituting the Marshall braking head fixture with the Gilson indirect tensile loading fixture. In calculating the fracture energy of asphalt mixtures, use the Gilson semicircular bend test fixture. We'll use the same setup as before, but now we'll attach a load button to the lower portion of the load cell. The SCB fixture with the asphalt specimen is centered on the platen of the load frame. Now, adjust the height of the crosshead to the center point of the fixture where the load button and the load ball nest. Next, seat the LVDT on the vertical guide rod of the SCB fixture. Next, tear both the load cell and the LVDT. Now you are ready to begin the test. And lastly, for measuring the shear strength of tack coat materials between two asphalt layers, use the Gilson Asphalt Tack Bond Shear Strength Apparatus for four and six inch samples. The apparatus with specimen is centered on the platen. Now, adjust the height of the crosshead where the load button and load ball nest. Next, seat the LVDT on the shear plate of the apparatus. You may need to rotate the apparatus to seat the LVDT properly. Tear both the load cell and LVDT. Then, zero the indicator attached to the apparatus to measure the lateral load. Now you are ready to begin the test. For any questions on how to set up your Gilson Marshall Stability Load Frame or for any Gilson product, please contact your Gilson Technical Support Team.